Weather, be your age. Just across to see Mrs. Braithwaite. You'll be drowned before you cross the farmyard. You're going out. Unfortunately, I've got to go out on important business. Then put five pence on Lester Ladd for me. I'll put your five pence on nothing. You're old enough to make bets. Anyway, Lusty Ladd's carrying too much weight. He never wins. Just coming to see you. Oh, there's a thing in my jig, and no mistake. I was just coming to see you. Keep your company while your dad's out. You don't think you're coming in here, do you? Well, I don't see why not. Because you're covered in mud. Look at you. Poor Wurzel. Won't you let him stand in front of the electric car for a bit? No chance. Well, I should think not indeed. Electric's bad enough. Fire's even worse. Put the two of them together, never know what might happen. Go up in flames, most likely. Whoosh! Uh, no, I'd rather come in and have a nice sit down, a cup of tea and a slice of cake. We haven't got any cake. Mince pie? It isn't Christmas. Or an apple dumpling or two. Wurzel, you are not coming in. Well, there's gratitude. After all I've done for you two. Or as many a scarecrow wouldn't give you the time of day, even if you got down on your hands and knees and begged. Or they talked to you in words and ease, and then you wouldn't understand a word they were saying. Words and knees? What words and knees? That's for me to know and you to find out. Is it a special language? Well, I couldn't say, young missy. Me being only a stupid sudden old scarecrow. Any road up, if you don't ask me in for a sit down and an apple dumpling or two, I'll bid you a G U or D or dip, A or R or T or U or R or M or O or R or M or so. Cool. That was Lee's. Well, it ain't Brazilian, is it? Oh, let him stay for a minute, John. He's got his own language. So is that. I know what to say when he comes back and finds his place covered in mud. Boil sport. Sorry, Wurzel. No, it don't matter. I knows when I'm not wanted. Do you want to borrow a proper umbrella? I've got my own umbrella. And a proper one and all, thanks for nothing. And my own chair. Where? In Ten Acre Fields? In my own little house, if you wants to know. Where is it? Tell us, please. Well, between you and me, and this poor little robin redbreast that's catching its death of cold. My little house is T where H where E where Dip, B where A where I were Embersol. What did he say? Could you understand him? Of course I could, silly. He was talking where's Elise, wasn't he? But if you'd let him come in to dry himself, he might have taught us how to speak it. He can dry himself out in his own house. And that's another thing. Now we'll never find out where Wurzel lives. We will, you know. How? Listen. Come here. Stop your wriggling and raggling, Fratty. If you didn't want to be an airbrush, you should have said so in the first place. Now. <laughs> All right, my dear. Back you go. Back to the dressing table. <laughs> All right. I think I'll go and sit in my best chair now. Cook myself a couple of dumplings. Can we come in, Wurzel? 
shove off, I'm busy. I've got an apple dumpling to cook, so I am. What is it? Gas or electric? Ten electric and, and ten that other thing. It's a cooker, like what other houses have. You mean to say this is your house, Wurzel? But ten nobody else's, is it? Where's all the furniture then? All the tables and chairs and things you said you had. Are you blind or something? Can't you see them? Well, there's more furniture here than I know what to do with. Anyway, what are you poking your nose in here for? You wouldn't let me in your house. Why should I let you in mine? Go and shut off. I'm busy. I've got things to do. Like what? But spring cleaning, for one thing. Let us in, Wurzel, and we can help you with your spring cleaning. Speak for yourself. Well, all right, if you're prepared to help me, you can come on in. You just walked straight through my bedroom wall. Then where's the front door? Over there. Can't you see it? Knock first. Knock, knock. Who's it? Come in, wipe your feet. Through the passage, please. I think it's a super house, Wurzel, but haven't you got any proper furniture? Well, it is property furniture, all of it. You can sit in them chairs if you like. Is this where you're going to live when you get married? Well, I might do. Then again, I might not. What business is it of yours, anyway? Well, wouldn't your wife want proper chairs to sit on? They is property chairs. What you mean is they ain't real property chairs. Mrs Braithwaite's got an old kitchen chair she's going to chuck out. She might let us have it. Well, I could do with that. And a real proper bed, and a real proper table, and a real proper sideboard, and, and, and cushions, and curtains, and a cooker, and, and, and a wardrobe while you're about it. I don't think we could quite manage all that. Oh, please yourself. What was he snickering and whispering at? It ain't polite. He wants to know where the bathroom is. That just shows how stupid he is, then, doesn't it? Because scarecrows don't have baths. Stands to reason it. Fall to bits. You mean they never have a wash? Poor! Well, of course we has a wash. We washes our heads, see? And every every spring and every autumn, we takes our heads off and gives them a fair old soak in salty water. It's more than humans can do. Come over here. Well, come on, come on. Uh. Uh, take a look in there. That's my singing head, that is. <laughs> Fell in a carpet once when I was singing green sleeves. Still, it's pickling nicely now, isn't it? What did you call this, uh, E were, were... An E were D were dip, B were A were R were R were E were L was all. That's Wurzelese for Ed Barrow. Will you teach us Wurzelese, Wurzel? No, I will not. Never. What if we got you that real proper chair from Mrs Braithwaite? A real proper table? A chair. It's a nice one. Well... Perhaps I could teach you a bit. Uh, there's a, a little song which learns the words of these, but I'd have to put my singing it on first. And I'd have to have that real proper chair first. Not likely. What's the matter? Don't he trust old Wurzel? No, he does not. Well, I don't rightly know what to do. Whether to put my singing it on or have a sulk. Here we are, children. I know your father's gone out, so I brought you a nice hot cup. Right, here it goes. Come on, get on with it. All right, all right. You can do it. Yeah. He's doing it. Ah, there we are. We're singing it. Hey. Come over here, sit down. <laughs> sit you down. There we are. Now then, cross your throat and hope to die that if I teach you words at least, you'll bring me that real proper chair you promised me. Cross my throat and hope to die. <laughs> ah, yeah, and if the, if the old crow man catches you out, you never learnt words at least more words of. Cross your throat, double, double spit. Cross my throat, double, and double, double spit. <laughs> If you wants to speak like me, say the letters separately. Put a word between each one, and your work is almost done. Now I'll tell you what to do, and the rest is up to you. Put a word after W, a word after O, put a word after 
after R and it's away we go. Put a whir after Z and put a whir after E, a whir after L, a cell after whir and you left with me. There you are, simple as falling in a duck pond. <laughs> now then, what does W or O or R or Z or E or L was all spell? I don't know. He doesn't know. It spells Wurzel, stupid. Then what's the L Wurzel at the end for? Oh, damnation donkeys. Didn't I tell you that bit about dependent short words and their length in long ones? No. Ah, oh, well, that's the first thing the crow man ever learned me. Now, listen to this. Now, dependent words, you see, with letters up to three. But when there's four or more, that's what Z is for. So come on, use your brain. Let's all try it once again. W. A whir after O. A whir after R. And it's away we go. Put a whir after Z. Put a whir after E. A whir after L. A cell after whir. And you left with me. Oh. M or E with it, me. <laughs> and what was the word we spelled? Wurzel. Ah, not bad. And that M or O with T were dip. Be what I would do with it. Not bad. That's the idea. So, put a word after W, a word after O, put a word after R, and it's away we go. Put a word after Z, and put a word after E, a word after L, a Z after W, and she left with me. in this weather. We were just fetching the scarecrow from Ten Acre, Mrs Braithwaite. It's falling to pieces. Why is it that when you two get into mischief, it's always something to do with that revolting scarecrow? Anyway, if it really is falling to pieces, it goes on the bonfire first thing tomorrow morning. No, you can't. He's too down to firm, Mrs Braithwaite. Well, the compost heap, then. I'm sick of the thing. Now, come on, let's have you indoors. And I mean it. That scarecrow's got rid of tomorrow for good. Now, come along. Come on. <laughs> Been another rat, have you, Mrs. Braithwaite? Hang on, I'll deal with it. It's not rats, it's chairs. Where's John and Sue? Up to no good somewhere. I shouldn't be surprised. Why? I told them they could have that old kitchen chair to play with, and bless me, if the moment my back was turned, they didn't walk off with my old granddad's best rocking chair as well. The young blighters. Been in my family for years. A valuable antique, that chair is. Well, I'll scalp the pair of them when I... Excuse me. Not so fast, you two. Now, what have you done with Mrs. Braithwaite's rocking chair? Nothing yet. Just taking it into the barn. To play houses. I don't mean that old thing. Where's my old granddad's rocking chair? I don't know. Now, come on, son. Mrs Braithwaite said you could have an old chair to play with and you took the wrong one. Now, what have you done with it? Nothing, Dad. We just took this one. Are you sure? Honest. Well, I believe in Mrs Braithwaite. Thousands wouldn't. Go on, then off you go. Skidaddle. Someone must have walked in as bold as brass while I was feeding the chickens. You can't be too careful these days. You want to keep that door of yours locked. Yes, Mr Peters, and I hope you'll do the same with the caravan door. You're quite right. Mrs Braithwaite, have you taken my table lamp? Look in the lock. Right. Do you know what I think? He's run away. No, he hasn't, or else he'd have taken these. Ew, put them down, they look horrid without his body. He must be hiding because he heard Mrs Braithwaite say she's going to throw him on the compost heap. She'll do more than that, she finds him with her rocking chair. Who says Wurzel took it? He gets the blame for everything round here. No, he doesn't, we do.
don't get off there. Yes, you. Wait, Chris. I'll be with you in a minute, love. the cottage unattended for half an hour then, did you, Mrs. Liversidge? Well, half an hour or 20 minutes. I can't really say, seeing as how he waltzed off with me clock. Ah, about that clock. Now, could you give us a description? I mean, how would we recognise it? Oh, easily. It's always a quarter of an hour fast. Yeah, well, we want more to go on than that. I mean, uh, what kind of a size would it be for a start? I mean, would the thief be carrying in his pocket? Carrying it in his pocket? <laughs> That's a good one, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it was must have been hiding somewhere and nipped in and out, a bit smartish. Well, they get stuff away without transport. That's what beats me. I don't know, but we'd better keep a sharp eye out in future. Otherwise, we'll find everything gone but the kitchen sink. Oh, well, that's just it, you see. The kitchen sink is gone. It never. Why, we've been standing here talking. Oh, not that one. The old sink outside the back door where I swill my boots. It's walked. Oh, don't bother to knock, will he? Just burst in as if you're in the middle of a field. It is a field, Dopey. And anyway, you don't think you're going to get away with all this, do you? Well, I don't see why not. Nobody never comes round these here parts, except me. Wurzel, honestly. Never mind old Wurzel. Where's my chair? We fetched your chair and it's in the barn. Yeah, well, it was a bit too late, didn't it? I've been up since Coxcrow, uh, getting all this furniture together. But why here, Wurzel? In the middle of a field. Because Scarecrow's lives in fields, stupid. Anyway, old Wurzel's getting married. What's that got to do with it? Ah, well, you are too little and small to know about these things. But when folks gets married, they have kids, see? We know that. That well stands to reason, doesn't it? See these turnips here? Well, many of them are going to grow up to be Scarecrows. When we wants in the kids, we goes out in the field and we picks a couple. Maybe three. I'll have to see. He's gone potty. But, Wurzel, apart from getting caught, what's happened when it rains? Oh, if it rains, it rains. Furniture don't mind the rain, because it hasn't got no feelings, you see. Except beds. Yes, beds has feelings, because they're made of straw, same as scarecrows. <laughs> uh, come to think of it, I'll have to get myself a bed. Wurzel, you'll get into terrible Stop. trouble. Never mind him getting into trouble. Sure. Do you hear that? John! Sue! Where are you? The blue mood if that catches us here. You ought to never get moving then. But you better hurry and don't go through the window the same way you came in. Well, I'll promise you'll stay here till we get back. I don't always promise it. You promised me a chair, didn't you? But I never got it. It's no use arguing. Come on, before we all catch it. Come, you two. You're always somewhere else when you're wanted. For blackberries. What? This time of year? Even I know better than that. I want you to run down to the village and see if you can find PC Parsons. Tell him to come up to Scatterbook right away. Go on. And tell him it's urgent.
Monsieur Overs will find that their role. <laughs> That's what I call a real proper bed. A monkey's uncle. I'll get the police onto this. Hey, you two! You seen anything of police constable Parsons? Yes, he's just gone up to Scatterbrook. Scatterbrook? What's he doing down there? I want to see him up here. There's some airy blackguard up in my room, fast asleep. Large as life. Perhaps he's time, Mr. Shepherd. Don't you give me none of your lip. When I get the police down here, you move fast Might be dangerous for all we know. My kids were playing around here. All scratched it is. And been in my family for 75 years. Why, you I... lot of yakking here. He might have gone away. He's in my bed, I tell you. Seen some funny things in my time. Uh, if you ask me, it's a gang. Now, just a minute. I want a statement from all of you. But I've only got one pair of hands and one pencil. Now, who's at the table? That table's mine. No, we're getting somewhere. That's the last time we get you out of trouble. You just remember that, Wills of Gummidge. I will. I'll put me remembering it on first thing tomorrow morning. And I thank you both from the bottom of my stomach. And that's something you don't hear every day. Wurzel saying thank you. Do you really want to thank us, Wurzel? All oh, right. You can have me hedgehog hairbrush if you like. We don't want your hedgehog hairbrush. But will you teach us some more Wurzelies? Well, I will that. So long as you don't tell the crow man and get me into bother. Now then, where was we? If you want to speak like me... Say the letters separately. Port, power, word, word after W, a word after W.